Hi, um, Joanne, can you come to the office for a minute? We really do need to have a look at these quarter and figures. Yeah, uh, as soon as you can, yeah, please. Bye. Come in, come in, come in. Please, um, Thank you. Um, what did go wrong? I mean, just just look at this. I mean, it looks like we're we're attracting the right customers, but at the same time, they seem to be going out to our competitors now. What's what's happening with these figures? Sir, I've observed that cost has gone up over the few quarters, but um, and we have introduced our services to new geographies and they appear putting, have to have potential uh, but the results are not good and margins are not good as of now but These reports are just so ambiguous I mean, what exactly am I supposed to be seeing here? I mean, it's, it, it could be anything I mean, is there any way you can detail this so that we can actually understand what's happening with our profitability? I mean, uh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is serious now, can we have this by the end of the day? Uh, sure, sir. I understand. And I'll let you know by the end of the day. Lovely. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Hello. Good morning, sir. Ah, Joe, good morning. So, can you progress with that report? Have we got that analysis done yet? Um, I'm afraid the reports are taking a lot of time to comprehend where we went wrong. It will take another couple of days. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, well, it's, it's, it's got to be right. There's no point in being wrong. So, so take the time, get it right. We need to know exactly what's happening. Yes, sir. I will get back to you once I finish this. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers, bye. Yeah. Oh, Joanne, yeah, yeah. Please, please come. Yeah, take your seat. Good morning, sir. Right. What have we got? So it took me a really long time to find out the problem areas, but finally I got them today. Well, three days is a long time. That's you know, I, I trust you. It's correct. So tell me, what have we got? I've done a detailed analysis, and let me go you go through uh, that. Our primary issues are uh, logistical inefficiencies, poor supply chain execution and lack of collaboration across channels. That is the main one. Um, apart from that, we have incorrect basis for business decisions due to lack of information visibility. And uh, we need to relook into the prices and promotion strategies. Um, also, uh, we have the business users that are dependent on IT to bring the changes in the report resulting in the delay of actions. So to sum up, we are still in the process of implementing our business decisions uh, in most of the cases due to lack of information visibility. So if I've got this right, what you're saying is we're actually doing less with more when really we should be doing more with less. Yes sir, that's right. I guess uh, it's time to change the way we look into our reports and let me get in touch with my IT team and maybe then I'll get back to you and tell you the exact thing. Alright, that's, that's, that's very good. Do you think we can possibly get that sorted today? Can we have a meeting later? Uh, yes sir, today would be fine. Let me talk to them once. Lovely, that's great John. Thanks very much indeed. Yes sir. Right, sir. I'll speak to you later. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, John, please. Yeah. Good morning, Hi. sir. Hi, so who have we got here? I have a new He's from the IT team. Morning, Mark. This is there. Okay, Nish, can you tell us what you can do and, and what you've found out that can help to improve our sales figures? Well, absolutely. I've studied your existing IT infrastructure and I do have a proposal for you. Go on. Well, what I think is that you need to make very less changes to the way you're building your reports so that you could get the maximum results out of it. So, how's that? Well, I think it's time to say hi to data visualization and data discovery tools. Uh, what is that? And how can it be helpful? 
Well, let me give you a very brief account of this wonderful inclusion in the business intelligence domain. You see, this data visualization, the main goal of this particular area is to communicate effectively as to what the reports are trying to convey and so that the clients or the end users get a very effective view of what the results are. Which means it leverages the human visual interactive system to see patterns, trends and whatever the outcomes are in a much more effective way and which helps them in making a much more comprehensive decision making. Well not only that, studies also suggest that a well designed graphical representation or a pictorial output you know helps in making in a much more cognitive calculations compared to table and data value. In making data much more accessible and much more appealing you can also engage a wide range of global audience you know which generates a much greater interest in them to see the results in a much more effective way. Well that sounds very interesting but by the same token surely that's going to increase our IT budget and you know, we only have such a level that we can go to. Well, it sounds so, but actually, in comparison to whatever the spendings you are doing in the current existing traditional BI setup, the cost and the uh, investment in this is going to be much less, you see. Because uh, there, I'll explain as to what the reasons would be behind this. Well, you see, the first bottleneck with this structure is going to be the time. The time is of primary concern over here. But in the existing or the new setup which you would actually come up with, the data visualization, the time to go live with your existing work is going to be much faster compared to what you already have. Well, the secondly, the second factor which is, it's going to be cost, right? Because you already have a huge uh, cost incur which you're incurring for the existing traditional BI setup. But with this uh, new thing coming up, the data visualization, you won't have to incur that much amount of cost. Because first and foremost, the amount of time which you need to spend training to e enable your users using the tool is very less. Secondly, the setup and the infrastructure costs are also very less compared to the traditional setup. Well, the third line is IT dependency. You see, the business users, they don't have to depend much upon the IT teams or the service teams. They themselves can log in, they can alter the reports, modify the data and give you the output results. So, what does it do? It enables you to make much more quicker decisions in a smaller time frame. And finally, it's the X factor. You see, reports won't be much more analytical, it's going to be much more of graphics. So when it's graphical, it's going to engage your users in a much more effective way. Finally, I must add that the data visualization and the data discovery tools are one of the hottest things and the upcoming things in the BI market. You see, the Gartner research, it is stated that by 2013, the data visualization is going to be 1 billion market and by 2015, it's going to outgrow the entire market by three times the current figures. Alright, John, what's stopping us? Nothing, sir. I think we can say hi to data visualization.